Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison video. You'll have seen, hopefully from the thumbnail and the title, that I'm going to be comparing the Mitchell Feet on the Ground palette to the Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes palette. You can't actually get your hands on this palette at the moment. As I'm filming this, this palette is still out of stock. It sold out on the Ace Beauté website within the first few days, I believe. Um, I picked it up at launch, super glad I did, even with the expensive shipping. Had this one for quite a while, um, the Mitchell Feet on the Ground. I've only reached for it a few times considering it's a green palette and I love green eyeshadow and yeah I was just looking at the Mitchell feet on the ground the other day and I was thinking they have similar shades you'll see what I mean because I am going to insert um, the swatches of only the shades that I think are the most similar I'm not going to swatch the whole two palettes uh, because some of the shades totally don't dupe each other at all um, but you'll see what I mean the similarities in the colour story they're not exact dupes I just found it quite interesting. The swatches at the top of my arm are the Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes and the swatches at the bottom are the Mitchell Feet on the Ground. So yeah, I just thought we'd dive in, do a look, um, one palette on each eye. I am going to tell you which eye is which, um, and we'll just go through it together like that instead of guessing. But let me know down in the comments below, would you prefer to guess which palette is which? Um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's nicer if I let you in on the secret and then you know which side is which. Then you can see exactly what's going on and the comparisons between both. I'm excited for this. I love both of these palettes. I love both colour stories. I love green eyeshadow. Let's get into it. Okay, I am a mess, but I have my red bowl. Um, I can't remember the prices of both of these palettes, but I will link them down below. And I have a lot of brushes that I need to clean. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to use exactly the same brushes um, on each eye, because I'm gonna try and use separate brushes rather than going between a colour switch, just so you get the absolute best pigment from both and it's not going to be muddy with the other palette so yeah there's that and these are the two colour stories side by side there are some similarities some okay some okay so I'm going to be doing the Mitchell palette on this eye and the Ace Beauté on this eye um have separated my brushes so that they are each side so that I don't accidentally pick up the wrong one. I'm going to start off with the Ace Beauté and I'm going to go into the shade Palawan which is that one there. I just want to pop that on the outer corner. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side with the shade Venom, which is that one there. Now I know these aren't exact dupes, I just was quite impressed when I was swatching them that the colour stories with quite a few of the shades were fairly similar. And I was thinking, you know, if people can't actually get hold of the Ace Beauté yet, which I know one of my friends has massive FOMO about it, in fact two of my friends have massive FOMO that they didn't get the Ace Beauté palette, even though I told them to. Um, they can play with the feet on the ground palette instead. Now, as you can see, those are different tones, definitely. However, the last time I did a comparison look, it started off looking very different in different tones, but by the end it looked quite similar. So I'm hoping that's my what that is my what words. That is what might happen today. Yes! I can't actually remember the shades that I swatched. This is going super well, isn't it? I'm gonna go with the shade Olive from the Ace Beauté palette, which is this one here. Please ignore my nails, they need to be done. I'm just gonna pop this in the middle of the crease. And um, both of these palettes are really good quality, to be honest. I don't think you can go wrong if you've got either. Look at that absolute 
gorgeous shade of green. And then from the Mitchell palette, I'm gonna go into the shade Greener. You see, that one is quite similar. Then for the very inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the shade Khaki from the Ace Beauté palette. And just tuck that in here. This is not gonna be a gorgeous technical look. This is literally just comparing the colour stories. I have done videos with both of these palettes before, but obviously not comparing them. So if you wanna check those out, they are on my channel. And then the other side, I am gonna go into Clay Baby, which is this one here. Which doesn't seem to be as deep and as pigmented as the Ace Beauté side. Yeah, it's definitely lighter. It's not as grungy. Then I'm gonna take Safari from the I know they called it a Beauty Bay palette, the Ace Beauty palette, and just continue that along the lower lash line. And then from the Mitchell palette, I'm gonna take the shade Off-Roading. And from the Ace Beauty palette, I'm gonna take the shade Chartreuse and just connect that without poking myself in the eye to the inner corner. And then the shade Chemtrail from the Mitchell palette. Then I want to take a little bit of the shade Mango from the Ace Beauté palette and just tickle near the inner corner just to blend out that deeper khaki shade. And then I want to take Arkid from the Mitchell palette. Then from the Ace Beauté, I'm taking this shade here and just pop that on the outer corner. I am going to go back in with the deeper shade to make sure that this is blended. I'm just popping this down first. And then the only one I can sort of pair that with, I think is greener, which I think we've already used, but that is the only one that's going to give me a similar sort of vibe on the very outer corner here. Okay, I think they're looking fairly similar. I'm gonna go off, cut my crease, and then we can compare the one shimmer that I feel like is comparable. Yeah. Okay, so I've cut the crease, I've tried to make it equal, which I tried to do anyway, if it's not a comparison video, but here we are. Um, I feel like, what? which was the shimmer? That was the most similar. I think it was Rainforest from Ace Beauté and I'll start with that one. These are very putty like. Um, they remind me of the Beauty Bay shimmers and they're difficult to pick up on a brush and it's quite frustrating. I'm gonna have to wet this. I feel like these would definitely go on better with the finger but I just really try to avoid doing that if I can then I'll just tap over the edges with some of that green then the shade that I felt was most similar is Fool's Gold from the Mitchell palette and we'll see how these look on I mean I've enjoyed playing with both of these palettes again today I really do like both of these for different reasons. I do believe the Mitchell ones are 40 pounds, but they're in the sale a lot. Um, and obviously the Mitchell ones do come with the case, uh, the feet on the ground and the heading, head in the clouds come with the case. I do think you can get an option now though where you don't have to buy the case and it's slightly cheaper. And obviously it depends where you're buying the Ace Beauté as to how much it's gonna cost you because if you're in the UK like me, going to cost you a lot more because of shipping. Might just use a bit of that shade as 
an inner corner highlight as well. And the same with the Rainforest shade from the Ace Beauté. I didn't want to cover up that Chartreuse shade though, to be honest, but that looks nice. Maybe the same for the brow bone. Wow, that went on a lot. I'm just going to use some of my P. Louise Crisp Finish in the shade Sweet and Sour for the waterline. And this is a fresh one. I haven't actually used this shade before. I'll put it in both sides. Okay, this is how we are looking right now. I am going to jump off, finish my makeup, and then we'll come back and see if it's a similar look overall when I'm finished. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think. Do you think it looks like I've used two different palettes on my eyes? Um, looking at this now, I can't tell. You'd have to get really, really close to be able to notice the differences. I think the shades that I've used are very, very similar. I'm quite impressed. So this was the Ace Beauté side and this was the Mitchell side and they both went on beautifully to be honest I really can't tell that much of a difference let me know if you can and I'm just being crazy but yeah to me they look very very similar the shades I've used now obviously the color stories are very different in both of the palettes like in the Mitchell palette you have got the pop of orange the purple um, you've got the really light pastel green another purple like it's it's different oh I didn't use the black oh I was going to compare the black I mean I did in swatches to Cave from the Ace Beauté. Um, but yeah, I could have deepened the outer corner up with that. But to be honest, I really don't think it would have made a difference. I think it still would have looked exactly the same look on the eyes, to be honest. Um, so yeah, if you was wondering about getting the Ace Beauté palette um, and it's out of stock and you've got this kicking around in your collection, then why not play with this instead? Um, obviously, the Ace Beauté palette does have the absolutely gorgeous Seychelles shade, which it, it's not in the feet on the ground. Um, that's very sad, but I mean, yeah, I would probably consider buying the palette just for that one shade. Not the shipping though, not the shipping just for this shade. That's crazy. I'd probably still do it. Or maybe you just don't want to buy the Ace Beauté palette because of the crazy shipping and you don't live in the US. So yeah, it's a lot guys. It's a lot and I would love to try more of Ace Beauté's um, eyeshadow palettes, especially now that they've reformulated. But I just, the shipping is what, is what, mm, yeah, yeah, it's not the best. And these Mitchell palettes now are on offer all the flipping time, to be honest. I picked up the new Milk palette um, for half price. It was £20. Was it £20 instead of £40? Was it supposed to be £40? I honestly can't remember. But yeah, I'll link everything that I've got on my face in the description box down below in case you're interested. I will link these two palettes down below. But like I say, this one is out of stock currently. But I imagine it's coming back very, very soon because, um... It's a popular palette. Thank you for joining me today for this video, guys. It really does mean the world to me that you want to watch my little videos. And if you could please like, comment and subscribe if this is your type of thing that you like to watch, why not hit the subscribe button and I'll have a lot more of these types of videos coming your way. If there's any other comparisons you would like me to do, please let me know. I do have a palette collection video already on my channel if you want to see the masses of palettes that are in my collection. I have added to my collection since then and I continue to add monthly weekly, daily. Anyway, moving on. Thank you once again for joining me for this video, guys, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.